Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we're going to create the other pages for our website like the blog list page, the blog post page, and the about page. So in the last couple of videos, we have been designing this front page of our website and we have completely designed it now we will start designing the other pages now first of all i will change some of these links to point it to the actual pages so here we will type index.html here we will type blogs list dot html we will type the same over here as well because because this is gonna look the same like uh, the blog list page and uh, here we will type about.html these are all the html files that we have to create and uh, in here inside our section heading here we will type blogs list.html and here we will type blog post.html we will have the same over here blog post.html and the same over here blog post dot html we are not going to change all these links over here but we are just going to create this uh, basic design so that we can navigate to our pages and uh, so that's all for our index.html file now we will create the other files that we need so here in our project we'll create a file called about.html and then we'll create a file called blogslist.html and then one more file called blogpost.html so first of all we will design the bloglist.html page so this is gonna have uh, pretty much the same design like our index.html file so we'll just copy this whole thing from here and paste it over here and what we'll do is remove all those things that we don't need so we don't need this uh, source section so we'll delete it and we also don't need this project section so we will delete this project section now here at the start of our section here we will delete uh, this whole thing and we will create a new heading called page heading and here we will type blogs now in our card we will create one more division after our blog title and here we will create this division called card meta so we'll type card meta and in that we will type posted by admin on and here we will type some random date in and here we will create an anchor tag and we will type web dev so this is going to be the category and uh, this is the meta description of our card and now the next thing we need to do is remove this banner from here and now we will go ahead and uh, copy this card meta into the card that is below over here so after our heading we will post this and we will select both these cards and copy it two more times so we will just check our page so if I go to the blog list page we can see that we have this uh, design over here and we don't have our uh, page heading over here because we need to do some styling to make it to bring it down and the other thing that we need to have is the pagination so we'll go ahead and create that so after this section ends here we'll create a new division with a class name of pagination and uh, here we will have a couple of anchor tags we'll say prev for the first anchor tag and we'll just copy this a couple more times and here we will type some number and here we'll type next so this is our pagination and uh, that's basically it for our uh, blog list HTML now we will style this in our CSS 
So we will open our style.css file. So first of all, we will create a new comment and we will type blog list page and we will style the page heading. So we will give it a font size of 32 pixels, font family of Roboto condensed, border left of 3 pixels solid black, border right of 3 pixels solid black, transition of all to 0.4 seconds, display to inline block, padding of 4 pixels, 32 pixels and margin top of 120 pixels and we will also style the hover so page heading hover and we will give a padding of 4 pixels 48 pixels background color of red so here we can see our page heading now we will style our card meta so here we will type card meta and the color to 333 font size of 14 pixels padding left of 8 pixels and font family of roboto slab and we'll also style the anchor tags inside our card meta and we'll give it a color of 333 so here we can see our card meta now we will style the pagination so here we will give it a new comment and here we will type pagination and we will give it a padding of 8 pixels text align to the center and font weight to bold now we will style the anchor tags inside our pagination so here we will type border top of 3 pixels solid white display of inline block padding of 8 pixels 16 pixels and transition of 0 0.4 seconds we will also style the hover of our pagination and here we will type text decoration to none and border top of 3 pixels solid black so here we can see our pagination so that's basically it for our blogs list page now we will design our blog post page so we'll go ahead to our blog post page now we'll copy everything from the blog list and uh, we'll paste it into our blog post and here we'll go ahead and uh, delete everything from here to basically the heading so we are left with the header and the footer basically and here we will write the page heading and here we will type blog post heading and then we'll create a division with an id of post container and then we'll create a section with an id of blog post and in that we'll create a division with a class of card and then we'll create a division with a class of card meta blog post and here we will type posted by admin on and we will just type any date in and we will have an anchor tag and a category so now we will have a division for the card image and we will put an image and we will insert the first image over here and here we will type card image then we will have a division called card description and in that we will have a heading and we will create some lorem ipsum over here we will just copy this a couple more times and after that we will have a division with an id of comments section so for now we will just type comments section over here 
we will create this comment section when we build uh, the custom theme now we'll also create the sidebar after our section and here we will type a side and we will give it an id of sidebar and here we will give an s3 sidebar heading and we will type something over here so this is basically how our page looks right now now we'll go ahead to our css and style this so here we'll create a new comment called single blog post and here we'll target the post container and we'll say display flex and then we'll style the blog post division and we will say display flex flex direction of column and a width of 70% border left of 1 pixels solid 999 we'll also style the card inside the blog post and we will give it a width of 100% then we will style uh, the card image its hover and we will say box shadow to none so here we can see our blog post page now inside our media query where we have a max width of 900 here we will say blog post and we will give it a width of 100 percent and a border left of zero now we'll style the sidebar so here we will give it a new comment sidebar so we'll target the sidebar id and we'll give it a background color of 333 flex of 1 padding of 8 pixels and 16 pixels color of white box shadow of inset 27 pixels 0 51 pixels minus 18 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.75 and we'll go to our media queries and in our 900 pixels maximum width here we will type sidebar and display none so when we are below 900 pixels we don't want the sidebar to be displayed so here we can see that we have our sidebar styled properly and and now we will need to style this card meta blog post so we'll go to uh, the place where we have styled our card and down here we will uh, give the style for the card meta blog post so we'll type card meta blog post and we will give it a color of 333 font size of 14 pixels padding of 16 pixels font family of roboto slab and we'll also style uh, the anchor tags so we'll give it a color of 333 and at last we'll style the comment section division so here we will type comments section and here we will type comments section and we will give it a border top of 2 pixels solid EEE and a padding of 8 pixels so if you take a look at our website here we can see that we have styled our uh, meta description and also the heading and we also have the sidebar this is the comment section which we will design when we actually create the theme so that's basically it for the blog post page so if we'll just uh, resize our window we can see that when we are below 900 pixels we cannot see the sidebar now the last thing to do is create the about.html page so we'll just copy everything from the blog post and uh, go to the about.html page and here we will paste it and there are just a couple of changes we need to do over here so first of all we will remove the comment section 
and then we will remove the card meta blog post division because we don't want to have uh, this description for the about page and the last thing is we will change the heading to about gt coding so now we'll take a look at our website and see whether everything is working correctly so here we can see this is the blog post page we'll go to the about.html page and here we have the about page and we don't have any comments and we don't have the meta description so that's basically it for all the other pages for our website so probably in the next couple of videos we will take a look at the basics of php for designing the custom wordpress theme so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day